Many moons ago, when you went to buy a car, you had your choice of brands, but you could only really get one kind of car, gas-powered. Now, the more climate-conscious shoppers get two other options. You get electric vehicles, and you get the option of a hybrid. So, if you have a budget for a new car and don't know what to choose, don't worry. Yahoo Finance's very own senior autos reporter, Pras Subramanian, is here to help. So, Pras, what should we be considering when we're choosing between an EV and a hybrid? Yeah, you know, there's a lot to consider there between these two different types of cars. You know, there have been, have, you know, recently we've seen EV kind of ownership and interest kind of come down, whereas hybrids has sort of exploded in terms of interest right. and sales. So let's take a look at what you really need to look at when you're trying to actually consider it. So looking at kind of, you know, with EVs, looking at prices, and Americans talking about how fewer Americans are interested in EVs compared to a year ago. Prices have been going up. So cost is a big consideration versus hybrids. Hybrid prices are, are, are like around 42.5 versus an EV 55-ish. So that's a big concern there. But then also maintenance, right? Maintenance is cheaper for an EV, but more for a traditional gas car or hybrid. So they're looking at that. But then also, of course, there's the insurancing. A big, big, big thing we talk about this week is insurance. And EVs generally have higher insurance costs because they're a bit more complicated to repair. But we're hearing some insurers like Progressive talk about how as they get more data into that, they can actually bring those costs down. Uh, real quick, also the kinds of trips that you do. If you're the kind of person that's gonna be taking on shorter trips for, for errands and maybe going to work, um, the average American drives 37 miles a day, right? Hmm. If that's your use case, I would say an EV is the sort of the best use case for that. If you can charge, but you can charge at home at night or at the work site or even in your neighborhood, it's a great option for these shorter trips. If you're like a person in sales, you're driving a lot, right. 100 miles, 200 miles a day, probably a hybrid, a better option for you. Uh, so I think that's sort of like the use cases and how much you can afford really are gonna sort of weigh in on what you get. And this is like not brain, brain surgery, but right. at the same time, there's a lot more options out there for you. This is the second time this week that we've heard telematics come up in the, the case for EVs, especially as bringing down some of those auto premiums. And we can come back to that or discuss it at length at another day, but let's get people the nitty gritty here and, and the goods. I heard you had some specific picks for our buyers out there, so what are they? We got some picks here, we got some like, so for instance, in, in the EV world, at the higher end, in my opinion, if you got the money and you wanted the nicest ride you can get, I think you can go Lucid Air if you want that sedan, really high performer out there, or if you want a, a more of an adventure vehicle, pick up, I think the Rivian's still the top pick in that space. And those Cybertrucks out there, those iPhone 50 Lightning, great truck, but the Rivian is my, my top choice. Okay. And then for the affordable thing, you still cannot beat the Tesla Model Y, only because it's, you can be half or so cheap, great feature set. Obviously, the Tesla Supercharger Network is the most the, the most ubiquitous, the best one, and it's basically an appliance, right? It's a car, it's, an, it's not really like your BMW, but it's a car that gets around town and it looks okay. Yeah, all right, Pross, thanks so much for bringing this what down, quickly, of course. The hybrids, though, hybrids, real quick. Hybrids, hybrids oh hybrids, yes, yeah, the best hybrids, hybrids. hybrids we need yeah. to know that, yeah. yeah. So, real quick, the top plug-in hybrid, in my opinion, is the BMW X50e. Uh, that car oh. is, is was rated Consumer Reports' top overall vehicle, no matter what it was, yeah. is their top vehicle. And affordable, the, the Toyota Prius, King. That thing has been around for 20 years, the new model looks better, has better range, more power. I think you can't lose with that car. I've rented the BMW X5 once. That thing flies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah dangerously. Yeah. Uh, Pros, thanks so much here for breaking these down for us. People out there, they, they got the picks that they need to know at this point.